Hello everyone. I've had a poster made of me and Sid, which you can get now from Pixel Empire if you go to the link in the description. If you get it now, you may get it in time for Christmas too. Now, on with the video. Ah, it's Christmas again. You can smell it in the... Wait, what is that? Fire tree! Fire tree! It smells like Christmas spirit. It's on fire again, isn't it? As a kid, getting games at Christmas time was literally crack for me. It's a beautiful time. Oh, for God's sake! Unfortunately, Christmas morning isn't always perfect for a gamer expecting his next big adventure. As with anything sweet comes the sour, the spectre at the feast, the Brutus to my Julius. At 2, Fallout 76. I'm, of course, talking about Christmas games. <laughs> Today I'm going to demonstrate the true terror of receiving a Christmas game during the holidays by playing and reviewing every Christmas-themed virtual reality game I can find on Steam. For those wondering how I found the games, I searched for the word Christmas under VR titles. Unorthodox, I know. So, let's get started. And I can confirm I will be wearing this jumper the entire video. Oh, yes. Come cheer up, my lads, tis to glory we steer to find something new. We begin with Santa's visit. The goal of this game is to simply search through the house and find out what each member of the family is into, and then give them a present that matches their interests. You have a whole load of different gifts you can pick for each family member, and you can play with each of them at any time. Okay, here we go, a clue. Little Timmy seems to like floaty things. They all float down here, Timmy. There you go, Timmy. Just try not to recreate the Hindenburg disaster by way of your father's personal property. <laughs> Honestly, playing around with all the toys is pretty fun, and they're all very well implemented into VR. Overall, it's a simple game, and as a result, a tad pricey for what it is. But sit back, boys. This game was only made last month, and we're going backwards chronologically through these games. Things are gonna get much worse. Ignite Food Fight. I actually had quite a lot to say about this game, but when reviewing the script, I didn't think any of it was that funny, so I cut it all out. Sue me. Slay Runner by Retro Bullet. Speaking of suing someone. Okay, here we go. This actually looks like a proper Christmas game. Festive and calm. <laughs> you can't just drop me off 300 miles an hour on a frozen freeway. You gotta ease me into this shit. Is that a B plane? We got a 1016 on the freeway. Numerous casualties have been confirmed. Take out Santa. Repeat, take out Santa. The goal of this game is to collect presents as you travel down a three-laned motorway, and it sort of loops infinitely from there. The problem is, this game hasn't been properly optimized for VR, so everything appears like you're looking for a fishbowl. The movement is way too fast and erratic. The presents fall through the maps. So you can't actually collect them. The numbers on your dashboard have almost no relevance to anything that's going- Oh God, no! I'm dead. I'm dead. Santa Simulator. This game was made by Toast VR. You know. Toast. This game actually looks pretty good, or maybe I'm just going peculiar. The animations on the reindeer are fairly detailed, and all the scenery around me looks fairly impressive. The house behind me, not so much, but hey, we're not supposed to look back there, so let's run with it. In this game, we fly around and deliver presents to houses that pass by. Ho, ho. Oh no, I really hope that wasn't the puppy. Kajitas. Oh, you wish everything's a dead dog, Sid. It's getting weird. We actually throw the presents into giant chimneys that stick out of office buildings. It's all a bit questionable, really. I worked in an office for a long time, and I assure you, Marjorie here would not have put up with this kind of shit draping out of her office. Office wall. I'll give you a fucking whole press. I mean, this chimney is cut into part of a window. Who was the architect here? Carl Baru? The game is full of odd details like this. Giant footballs, animal abuse, temperate thermoclines. And before you know it, it's over. Are those bats? The only thing I have to add here is the speed that you can throw presents into chimneys is limited only by the rate they respawn after you've thrown one. So to get the highest score possible, I cleverly stockpile presents as I travel. Why must I play God? So there we have it, Santa Simulator. This game doesn't look much like other things you've played in the past. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I've never been more insulted in my life. Next game, Tippy. Tree. Tippy Tree is a game where you put Christmas decorations on a tree. If you load up one side too much, the tree gets imbalanced, falls over, and you lose. Christmas is over. <laughs> My main criticism of Tippy Tree is the ground and the tree are both programmed like a Bethesda game, so they just keep randomly colliding with each other when you try to add stuff, causing the tree to bounce up and down, and I'm almost certain that this is not intentional. Let's face it though, this is clearly a very casual game, and it only costs $1.69, so I can't really say much. Speaking of 69 though, brace yourselves, it's time for the main event. <clears throat> Puzzle of Santa Girl VR. Oh, I've really messed up this time. The first thing you'll notice is that on the game's Steam page, the text in the trailer is blurred. No, 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 we can't have blurring now. We haven't even started the game yet. Made by Studio Thug Life, oh God. So we'll just install this. Need assistance? Yes, please, someone save me. Okay, let's start. Oh, I'm getting there. 
Christmas sweats. Can someone pass me the eggnog? Said no! There are three possible games. In the first game, you watch a video where the female enters, then exits these doors. You then have to use this information to work out which of these doors leads where. Well, don't they know it's fucking Christmas? Ignoring the obvious issues here. This game is not in VR. None of this appears in 3D. You aren't in this room. This girl doesn't exist. And so for the first time ever, your VR headset really is just a TV strapped to your face. Also, when I describe this as a room, I think I'm again being rather generous. What is this place? There are three separate doors, one of which apparently goes to the shadow realm. Two inexplicably place shower curtains and an air conditioning unit because clearly it's hot in purgatory. If you try the second game, another video will play, but this time you have to count the number of times the girl jumps out at you. Sid, help me please. This on its own is fairly inoffensive, but each time she comes and goes, the entire room completely shifts around you two separate times every time. It would be like if every time Emma left a room, the entire house deviated by four feet with me standing in it. In the third game, you watch her dance in one outfit, then in a second outfit, and have to choose what was different between the two outfits. In most cases, you're given as many possible options as there were actual clothes changes, so you just pick all four and you automatically win. What has happened here today? Will future historians look back at this moment and judge us unfairly? Neck pain, not in 3D, slow paced, bad visuals, worse music, the rewards for winning are photos of the girl in outfits we've already fucking seen. This is not only the most expensive game on our list, it may be the worst game I've ever played. I've actually thought about it and I think I could make this game. Seriously, let's do it. Start the jazz. <gasps> <gasps> you found me. Snowmania. I just don't think, I don't know if I, I don't think, I just don't, I don't think I can, I don't know. In Soviet Russia, holiday kills you. Let's be honest though, I'm just happy to be back playing a game. In Snowmania, there are several stalls laid out, each of which allows you to select a different mini game, like save the kitty. From who? This guy? Looks innocent to me. In this mini game, we have to stop the cat from falling off a building. Merry Christmas, children. What is going on here? Who engineered this situation? Was it the cat? Does he need emotional reassurance? Sid, think of the coin. Kajita sold his last wealth. No! Well, he's safe now somehow. This game is actually quite good if a little overpriced and has several pretty varied mini games. It has a horror section that scarred me for life, a bow and arrow game that works perfectly fine and a roller coaster that made me so unbelievably sick it ruined the rest of my day. VR theme park rides. This is a game where you exclusively ride around in roller coasters but it's all in VR. Oh no. There are a lot of different rides in this game but I think only one is Christmas themed so we're just gonna ride that one and move on. Oh thank god. There are 12 normal rides but there is a dedicated Christmas section where there is only 12... Christmas rides. It's happening. I can't imagine it matters where we start, so let's just go to the angry octopus ride. Oh no. Oh no. It goes backwards. It goes backwards? Let's try something else. Of all of these, the bumper cars is probably the best option because if you can actually control the ride, it will make you feel less sick when you're playing. I'm not controlling this car, this is all just happening. Yep, just rolling around, bumping into no one. At least Santa's having a good time. Laugh it up, Santa! Okay, how about Castle of Terror? Sounds Christmassy. What would you like for Christmas, young man? Some skin? This ride is a lot better than the last two as it's a lot slower, but it still makes me very sick. You see, I play a lot of VR weird flex, but these locomotion-based experiences are so badly suited for the medium, even I can't play them. And I'm great. <laughs> this game is $3, but even if it was free, I still don't think I could recommend it. And it's quite sad because clearly quite a lot of hard work has gone into this game. I must have sinned real bad in a previous life to deserve this. Quizality. Thank God it's a quiz game. I know it's a strange concept for VR, but at least I don't have to ride in any more fucking roller coasters. I hate it. In this game, you ride around in a Christmas themed world and answer questions as you go. There's also this strange noise that plays when the sled is moving around and it's driving me completely insane. What is that? Running water? Am I gonna capsize through the ground any moment and drown? God, I hope so. And that's the end. Nailed it. VR snowballs. Mmm, listen to that music. The first thing I noticed opening this game up was its trailer had a mouse cursor on screen through the entire thing. Two minutes it sits there anyway. Let's go! One miss and you lose. Okay. Okay. Right. And there before the grace of God go I. Never did he fail. Never did he fall. Would you shut up?
In this game, a number of floating snowballs appear in each level, and all you have to do is shoot each of them once without ever missing. As you get further through the game, the balls get faster and harder to hit. Instead of shooting where I was, you should have shot at where I was going to be. It has a certain appeal, as you have to be totally accurate at all times, which I'm kind of into. But honestly, Space Pirate Trainer is a similar sort of game, and while it's twice the price, it's a hundred thousand times better. I mean, they say don't eat the yellow snow, but you definitely shouldn't eat the red snow. I honestly didn't hate this game, but it's way too expensive for what it is. Naughty or nice? Depends who's asking. In this game, we stand outside Santa's toy factory and slingshot colored presents into the corresponding color of bag. If you get it right, the child is listed as nice. If you miss, it's assumed you did it on purpose and they're listed as naughty. I alone possess the power to decide the fate of every child on earth. I must use this power wisely. Die, Santa! I ended up just trying to ricochet the presence off of Santa into the right bag every time to try and add some fucking challenge to the game. Eventually, he falls over, plays the Ryu death noise, and doesn't get back up. But I'm sure he'll wake up soon. Santa, don't do this to me! Tornuffalo! Having friends over for a VR party? Craftmas! This game is like Minecraft VR, but it has a Christmas theme. If I talk about this enough, I'll finally start trending on YouTube gaming like all the other really creative YouTubers. Really though, this is a game about making decorations for Christmas trees. Well, maybe I'll trend on Mum's Net. Other than that, like all the other games, there isn't really much to it. You basically draw out a decoration. Then when you're finished, you can place it on your tree. You can control the color or even the size of your pen, so you can make your decorations as girthy as you like. There, an exact replica of Uranium-238. Now all that's left is to put it on our tree. Oh no, it's unstable. It's Chernobyl all over again! It's me, the ghost of Christmas future. Unfortunately, the last two minutes of audio of the video have corrupted for some reason. So I had to re-record them, but unfortunately I have a cold, so my voice is a bit icky in the rest of the video, but don't let it worry you. I just thought I'd make a note about it. Oh no, I'm being called back to the afterlife. Oh, don't worry about the raspy voice, maybe you'll enjoy the ASMR style of video. Holiday simulator. Stop! You, you violated, violated the, the law. law. What is happening here? My hands are automatically swapped. The reindeers are just two-dimensional cardboard cutouts that move up and down. The level is visibly appearing in front of me. And the music. This game is pretty much identical to Santa Simulator, but it's a lot w worse. The main difference is you can also throw hunks of coal at the naughty children's houses rather than only giving them presents. And abusing the animals is a lot less satisfying. Uh... Santa Sling. I thought we already played this! The game opens up with the ghost of Santa appearing, then disappearing just as quickly. It's like Santa's seen the game already. I gotta get out of here! We are then told to grab a present to begin, but for whatever reason that doesn't work and the game never starts. Merry Christmas. This of course all goes on underneath the ominous gaze of a giraffe that is clearly experiencing some kind of existential crisis. The jolly meter is full. Looks like this is broken as well. Merry snowballs. Jesus Christ, what's happened to Santa? His snowballs aren't looking that merry. In this game, we throw or shoot snowballs at neighborhood kids who are throwing snowballs at us. The music and the art design is great and the gameplay is honestly pretty satisfying and very well designed. It even has high scores, which gives the game some replayability. And look, all the world leaders are here. Gandhi, Chairman Mao, Pesky cashew must be Putin. You win tickets as you play, and these let you unlock better weapons, like the rockets, which make it much easier to- I hate Santa. Oh, you fucking what? Oddly, this game is quite a lot like Merry Snowballs, in which you shoot snowballs at enemies that are running around the neighborhood. The trailer for this game, though, that's the real winner here. Not only is it pretty high quality, but we have all these fully grown adults talking very seriously about what is very clearly a game for children. Big deal. VR is all about being immersive. Big deal. I don't even know how to drive. What's this? The accelerator? The brake? Let's go. Idiots didn't even send me the game. Unbelievable! Santa, what have they done to you? And there we go, we're finished. What did you think, Sid? Enjoy your last Christmas, human. Before we finish, though, it's really important to remember that the people who made these games have undoubtedly worked extremely hard on them. Making any kind of game is an insanely difficult and complex undertaking, and something I personally know I would never be able to do myself. Ever. Every game, every project we've looked at today will lead to these developers making an even better game next time. And that is the spirit of Christmas. Wait, what? <sighs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Go and spread peace and other things that people enjoy. And also remember, you can get the poster I mentioned earlier by clicking down in the description to get it from Pixel Empire now. And depending on where you are, it will come in time for Christmas. Get it for a loved one or someone you hate. Happy holidays, you miserable fucks. I meant to say, I meant to, what did I mean to say? I meant to say beautiful.